Hey guys, Terry Red here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about DOF Links effects. But all I'm going to be doing here is basically demonstrating the various different effects that I've already pre programmed for you guys that you can use with DOF Links effects. So basically, you could just use your front end to tell DOF Links, hey, I want you to use this specific configuration file set up for specific buttons to create specific effects or to have a certain startup sequence uh, to create an effect. So that's all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you the stuff that you're going to see on the SUP INI Creator uh, spreadsheet that I made. So that way you'll know when you go to look up all the effects, you'll have a, an idea of what you're uh, going to be trying to test out or use for your game. So that's it. So all I'm doing is uh, I'm basically just uh, telling DOF links to use like, a different config file. So there's no game or anything else going on here, guys. So it's just the effects that you're going to be looking around the play field and on the back eventually. That's all, that's all you're looking for. So we already got the first one up and running. So we'll, we'll give her a start and I'll describe everything as we go. And something to remember is all these effects can be used in eight different colors. Uh, you can do any color you want in DOF, but for me to pre-program every combination there is, it's just not gonna happen. So, you know, there's a bazillion things you can do with DOF, but there's no way I can cover every one of them. I just decided to do some of my favorites and then do some of the cooler ones that you guys can use. So here we go. All right, so this is a star field for just the back matrix. I kept that separate uh, from the side ones. Some of these effects will have only the back, some will have only the sides, and some will have all of them combined. So uh, that's a normal star field for the back matrix. And this is on the, the side matrix. Now again, you can have these in whatever color you want, and you can combine them as well. Like you can combine multiple effects. You can have multiple layered effects all running at the same time. The addressable LEDs are awesome for that. All right, and that's that's explosion. So that's a, a couple effects mixed together. And again, if you for a lot of these, if you hold down the button, it's gonna you know do a longer duration, and then when you let go, it'll stop. They're all gonna be different. You'll have to play around and see which ones work well for you. And it depends on how often you have the, the key repeat delay set. All that stuff is going to affect everything. Now, this one is one of my favorites. I call this uh, electrical arcing. I love that. You know, like that one is one of those ones that if you use it, you know, for like, say, a magnet effect with electrical arcing going off on a pinball table. It's so cool. I love that. Or it's good to mix with an explosion effect as well. And, and you've seen that on a couple of tables that I've done. So see, you can do it quick. Nice. Now this one, oh, that's a sparkly comet. So that's a sparkly comet left to right in the back. And that one's right to left. And this one is sparkly comet bottom to top. So I use that one for like a smoke effect on the afterburner demo. If you, if you watch that video, and I suggest you guys watch the previous videos I posted about Doflix effects so you have a better understanding of what the heck's going on. And you'll have some actual gameplay demonstrations as well. So. Ah, oh, that's, that's called backblast. So you can combine that. Like, remember, you can go real fast with a lot of these, right? And you can combine that with other effects. You know, they can get really creative with some of these. Or same with explosion. Or comets or whatever else you want to do. Like, you know, there's all sorts of stuff you can do. Like this one together there. Or you want to hold the explosion. You know, lots of stuff you guys can do. So this one... Oh, that, that's, um, that is machine gun effect. So I also use that in the afterburner demo. So if you push it real quick, it'll just give you a burst. If you hold it, it'll repeat. And same thing going the opposite way. So uh, top to bottom, bottom to top. That, so that there in the back, that's just a normal strobe effect, like just re to replicate a normal strobe on a cab. So that's a bumper blast. So uh, you'll, you'll see something like that in a lot of the bumper effects I use in tables, but you know, you go like that, you can go quick. And that, that one's just a, like a laser blast. So you can do like a quick or long, and it'd be any color. And same thing, top to bottom, bottom to top. So that's our first set of effects. So I'm just gonna change this up. All right. All right, and we're ready for our next set of effects. So let's give her a go. Okay, so that, that's a, I call it a beacon effect. And you'll see it used on a lot of the, the, the pinball tables for whenever the beacon goes off. So if you hold her down, kind of, you know, and it can change up the colors as well, uh, but red is a typical beacon color. And oh, that's okay, so that's a, a side splash. 
So, so you can use that. Now I have that set for the middle, the bottom and the top, and you can do that on both sides as well. So the idea is I, I like to use that for like a drop targets or stand up targets. When you hit them, it just makes a good, you know? So, and you've seen, I've used that on a few tables. Oh, okay. So that one, that's from my uh, get, uh, high speed two getaway uh, room effect. It works mostly good here, but it's not perfect. Uh, when, it, when it goes to close out, it doesn't close out correctly. And there's nothing I can do about that because I, I can only control it so much using this method. But it gives you an idea of some of the cool stuff you can do. Okay, so this is just basically a static shape. So you're gonna have, a, there's tons of different shapes you can use in DOF, but I can only pick so many of them. So I just try to do the main shapes that you guys might have to use. And something else to point out, now you see the shape is in the, on the top left, or the, the left, in the whole back matrix, there's five different positions you can have every shape in and also every color as well. So that's a circle, that's a square. I know it's not the greatest square, but it is a square. <laughs> Uh, that's a, a cross, and I'm not sure what that one was, to be honest. I can't remember. <laughs> and okay, so now we're getting into animated shapes. So these ones uh, are similar to the ones you've seen. They're just uh, a full animation, and again, you can have them in the five different spots. See, if you hold down the button, you'll see it keeps animating inside and out. So you can have it in the five different spots in the back and in different colors. And there you go. You got the cross, and you got diamond. And now we have some other uh, animated uh, shapes as well. Uh, they're not specific like a dime or anything. They're, they're just uh, various different uh, uh, effects, if you will. So that, that one is a uh, up down, I think. So that one is a square flop, I do believe. Again, all of these you can have in five different locations in all the different colors. That one is round and round. And I like to use that for like a warning effects uh, like you'll see if i have like a tilt warning i usually have a couple of those in red going off and that one is point plop that, that one's kind of nice for like a center like a, if you hit something or uh it depends on the sound effects right you know like sometimes it's just a matter of finding the right effect to go with the right sound and uh so that's it so remember all those can be uh used in uh, five different so locations effects. and in different places. so here we go okay so that's a, another type of up and down one probably the same one i just forgot <laughs> Uh, side to side, again, multiple locations for any of those effects. Okay, so this is a bunch of the, the next bunch of ones are going to be basically just random mixture of different effects put together. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of them are the same ones I used in Pinup Popper's uh, browsing effects. So you can see that's like a star field and two uh, animated shapes going. Same thing there, but different colors. And then there you can see different mix up of different shapes. Now, if you did these custom yourself, you could do anything you want. There's so much stuff you can do, guys. So you'll find all these under the section that just says uh, animated effects, uh, more towards the bottom of the spreadsheet on uh, the MX uh, effects page. And that's more of kind of like a plasma effect, but uh, I can't demonstrate it as well uh, using keys. And there we go. So that's those effects. Okay, so we got more of these uh, mixed up animator effects as well. And that's kind of a, a nice plasma star effect. Okay, so. Now we're moving on to, we've gone through most of the normal standard addressable LED effects uh, I've set up, but again, remember, a lot of them are in different locations and uh, different colors, and you can mix multiple ones up. You don't have to be limited to one button and one effect. You can have like five, 10 different effects all under one button. So, uh, so now I, I only put up a few words because I didn't know what to put for words. So I got like begin. So when you push the start button, you can have that flash. Uh, tilt, standard tilt that I usually use when you tilt the game. And start, and I think I got coin, but yeah, or credit. Yeah, and I gotta fix that eye, so I'll be updating that config for that as well. So, uh, so there you go. That's 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 basically all the addressable LED effects uh, that I'm gonna show. So now I'm just gonna go to like normal uh, 
normal standard DOF, like the RGB lighting and that kind of thing that you're going to see on the so back. Standard line. DOF, that's going to include things like your solenoids, your shaker motor, your gear motor, your fan, uh, your chimes, your uh, LED buttons, like your launch, your start, your fire, uh, your coin, uh, your five RGB flashers. I only have four and they're in my speaker holes, but normally people would have them in like a bar in the back. But because I have addressable LEDs here, I don't have a need for that. Uh, but I still have included uh, effects for that as well. And uh, I know you can't see it, but I have a, a strobe and a beacon at the top. Uh, watch my other videos. You'll see them up there and know exactly what we're talking about. So you can control all that and almost all the other main VOF uh, toys and effects. So that's what we're going to be doing right now is more of that. So let's see here. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but now uh, you can see the start button is flashing. So you could have when a game loads up and you push a coin, the start button will flash. And then launch button, you can use that if you want. And your fire button, if you have one, you could have that flash as well. Or you could just have them turn on. Okay, so that's like a solenoid. That's your shaker motor. So you can time it however long you want. The way I do the shaker is I usually do it when I release a button. Because remember, you can push a button for one effect and then release a button for another effect. So some of these are better off only being used when you release the button. Some you need to have it turn on when you push the button and make sure you tell it to turn off. If you don't, then the effect might keep going. So you'll, you'll figure out which ones work best. But yeah, that's a, that's a shaker. Now I know you can't see it, but that's my, uh, that's my blower fan. I actually have right here my vent. So what, when I'm playing like this, it's blowing right in my face. All right, so what else we got? Okay, I know you, can't, you guys can't see it up there, but that's the strobe going off. And the beacon is going off as well. And oh yeah, this one is the undercap lighting. So you can have it change to a different color and on a button press as well. So you can see. And what else we got? Okay, so now we're starting into our RGB flashers. So again, you have your five positions. I only have four to show you. Uh, and they can be in any color you want as well. And I've got a few animated uh, sequences for that as well. So that's your outer, outer left, inner left. Now this would be center, but I don't have one. Your outer right and your in, or, uh, uh, inner right. So there you go. You have all those. You know, you can even mess around. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, play around with the stuff. And then uh, you can do some cool, cool things. All right, so let's move on to our uh, our last one. All right, and now uh, this is our last bit of effects, and all this is going to be just your RGB flashers, your five flashers, and uh, you can do you know lots of neat stuff. But I just kept it to the simple stuff because I only had so many triggers to use, so I had to narrow it down. So here we go. All right, so that's uh, that'll be your left to right, your right to left. Now that one, I know it's hard to understand what's going on, but that's basically the center splitting out. So if you had this in a bar left to right, it'd be kind of like a splash effect going outward. And that one's the opposite. That's the center going towards the center. And then that one's center only going to the left, center only going to the right, and then outer left going to the center, outer right going to the center. And that's it. And then mix those up with whatever colors you want, change them up, or mix them with multiple effects. You can have addressable LED effects, RGB effects, your beacon strobe, your shaker, all of that combined with one single button if you want. You know, so that's all that's all I'm doing in this video. I just wanted to give you guys a visual visual so that you have something uh, to reference if you are reading the spreadsheet and you're like, what the heck are all these effects referring to? So now you'll have at least an idea. So don't be afraid to mix them up and, uh, you know, hopefully you guys can do some cool stuff. And if you do, uh, record a video or something, you know, and show it. I'd love to see this used. And it doesn't have to, I mean, yes, most people don't have a crazy pinball cabinet with a, a main, or sorry, an arcade panel set up on there. Like I do, but lots of guys do. So, you know, maybe they'll make use of this. But also you could use this in a normal main cabinet as well. Now you have a, a reason to add addressable LEDs to a main cabinet if you want. Uh, and maybe some kind of arcade racing cabinet. Who knows? Like there's all sorts of stuff you can do. So uh, yeah, so that's it guys. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.